You can see that we're getting errors here in those functions because TypeScript doesn't know where to get this user from. So now what we have to do is to go to JSON placeholder and see if we can understand exactly what are the properties that exist on this user so that we can map that user into this class here. So a good use of interfaces is to just use them to define a type of a specific object. So let's go back to JSON placeholder and let's scroll down to the user because that's what we're interested in. So here's the user resource. I'm just going to open this in a new tab just so I can see the response. So here is the list of all the users and you can see one user here from line five to line 27. And the user has an ID name, username, email on the dress, which is an object as you can see here. And this object contains another object. In this case, that's the geolocation. As you can see here, uh, it's nested inside of the address, which is also an object for the user. And then we have a phone, website and a company, which is also an object that, as you can see, that's defined here. So we need to map this data in our HTTP call so that we can deserialize it properly so that we can have intelligence whenever we get this data back. So what I like to do is to use this website here called transform.tools and you can specify what language you want to transform to and from. So here I'm just going to copy this first user here which defines the type of the user and I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to paste it. And if you look to the right, you can see that it defines all of the type for us and also the subtype and it defines the user. In that case, it's setting it at root, but we can change that. And then it passes in the address and the company and inside of the address, we have the geolocation and the geolocation is also defined below. So we can define all of those interfaces so that we can create our user service. Now we don't have to define it that way. We can use the type keyword in TypeScript to define types. And we can also use open and close curly braces and define the type of a data using a, an object literal. But I'm just going to go with this approach in this situation. So what I also want you to see is the Angular CLI. You can use it to generate interface. As you can see here, you can just pass in ng generate interface and then you pass in the name of the interface. So I'm going to use this command and I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And then I'm going to open my terminal. So make sure you are inside of your application. As you can see here, I am inside of my application and I'm just going to paste this command. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to copy this again, open my terminal and I'm going to delete this, paste this command. And I want to put all of those interfaces inside of a, of an interface folder. So I'm going to pass interface and then for slash user and press enter. So now I have this user interface and also we need to define the other interfaces. So let's go back so that I can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to shrink this a little bit. So we have to define the user in that case, that was the root and then the address. So I'm going to run this one more time for address. And I'm also going to do it for geo. I'm going to remove this geo. And I need to do it one more time for a company. And I'm going to run that. All right. So now I have all my interfaces. So let's go back to the application and let's expand this panel. And here's the interface folder and I can extend it. You can see we have all of our uh, classes in here. So what I can do is just copy the information that I got into those classes. So the first one is going to be the root. So let's go back to JSON. Let's see if we can put those side by side. So I have both of my windows side by side and I'm just going to go ahead and copy everything over. So I'm just going to copy all of this and then paste it in for user. And I like to have the semicolon. So I'm going to put those in and I'm going to do the same for the address. So I'm going to copy everything here and go back here to the address and paste everything here. And I have to do the same for the geo. So I'm going to open the geo copy everything for geo, paste it in there. And I need to do the last one, which is the company. So I'm going to copy everything here and paste it in the company. Again, I like to have the semicolon, but it's not required. I'm going to close that and do the same here. Close this. Now I have to import this so I can just use the quick fix to import it. And I'm going to expand this because we don't need this anymore. Now I can go to users and import those classes or those interfaces. So I'm going to import this from the address 
and import the company as well. All right, so now our user is defined. So this is the shape of our user. So all we have to do now is to import that user in this class. And we can use the quick fix to do that. Quick fix, import. So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and test those functions.